What's up, players? It's Truck from, you know, Truck BJJ. Representing my cousin's gym today, American Combat Club. It's in Orlando, Florida. My, my big cousin goes there. I think it's a really good gym. Awesome people. Shout out to my boy Lawrence and the coach who's there. Good, good, good people. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that people sometimes use at competitions and sometimes they're not allowed at competitions. So my, I bought this because it was my first competition and I didn't know if I was going to need it or not, but better safe than sorry. So, drum roll, here it comes. Boom! A cup. Cup. Is it essential? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, unless you have someone at your gym that's ramming their shoulder into your, I mean, their elbow into your balls or nuts or someone kicking it, then yeah, you should probably use it. Is it advantageous to wear it? Some people say it is for um, arm bars. Some people say it isn't. You can always drive it into someone. Uh, you know, it's situational. I feel like if you need it at your gym, because there's some guys that don't know how to control themselves, then yes, you should get it. If you don't need it, then I'd say it's better to train without it because most competitions, they don't allow you to have it, but there are some that do allow you to have it. Uh, brands, there's always Shock Doctor. I had a Shock Doctor one and it came with a came with this this pair of compression shorts and it's pretty cool and it also has a uh, this little hole in it that you can put the shock doctor one they're relatively easy to clean you know you just throw them in the washer and just let it do its thing take it out of the take take the hard part before you throw it in the dryer of course uh these are the jock shop version i honestly like this more you know some people like the compression shorts version more but this one just feels a lot more safe and secure this is the diamond brand and these are large, you know, and uh, I always have to repeat myself, you know, I'm 170, 180, and about 5859. So I got the large, and I'd say these these are super safe. I would let someone take a hammer and smash me with these, because, like, I, like, there's no, there's no, there's no getting through this, you know. Uh, pros of it is you have protection, you're not going to worry about, you know, anyone hurting you or damaging your goods uh, the uh, the only con is that um, if you're not used to wearing one of these in the beginning these ridges since it's there to protect you and it's made out of it's it's definitely softer than the front part but it's still hard to where it might irritate some people or it might not irritate them but in the beginning it irritated me but you know and uh, they're really nice because they have this, this zipper thing I'm not gonna take it out it's gonna take me like 10 years to put it back on and uh, and you just put it in, and then you could, you could either tighten it right here too. So, is it necessary? Situational depends on your gym, depends on who you roll with. Do I use it often? I probably bought this thing for the comp my first competition. I probably never, I didn't even use it at the competition. I just didn't feel the need to. So, this one are the Shock Doctor. I'd say the Diamond one is definitely a lot more durable and a lot harder and stronger but the shock doctor one is is cheaper so you know sometimes you get what you pay for the jock shop version or the compression version uh, I personally like this one it seems a lot more tighter a lot more snug but some people like I said like the other version so those are my thoughts but at the end of the day you could buy whichever one you want or not even buy them but remember, large, and I'm about 170, 180. All right. Good day, guys. Hope you like it. Please comment and subscribe. And uh, I should be getting the ghee soon. I don't know when it's getting here. Hopefully it gets here soon. I got it from uh, MMA Warehouse. So have a nice day, guys.